Hey kids, and welcome back to another Call of the Galtown video. And in this video, we are going to be learning the basics of Scratch. Scratch is a free programming language that you can use to make simple games and animations. Scratch is really easy to use because it has blocks instead of actually typing in the code. And here are some of the topics we're going to be learning about. We're going to be learning how to move your cat by using the Move Steps block, which will move your cat. We're also going to be learning how you can rotate your cat by using the Turn block. We're also going to be learning about, about how the cat can say stuff using the Say blocks like that and we're also going to be learning about the change size blocks which make your cat bigger and they can also make your cat smaller and we're going to be learning about how you can add new cats or any object you want by choosing a new sprite and the last thing we're going to learn is about using the sounds which you can use to play sounds. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and type in scratch.mit.edu. And then, you can go to go to the website. Then it'll be something like this. Here you can press create. So it's loading and it will leave you with the editor. Here you can use use these blocks to make your animation or game. Now, the first thing you probably see here is this cat. This is called a sprite. Think of a sprite like a character in a cartoon. You can program this cat or sprite, and you can make it do all sorts of cool stuff, like make um walk, like get it bigger, get it small, um, like you can make it play a sound, you can make it turn around, you can make it do almost all sorts of cool things. Now, say you want this cat to walk. To do that, you can go over here, and here you see a lot of these blocks. Every block is like a command, and, and you can use these commands for the cat to do something. So, say, here you can see the move 10 steps command, or block. You can drag this on, drag this over here. This is where you do your code. Here's where you can connect all of your commands, like that. See how it just snaps on, right when you bring it close to another block. Now, Good practice is to always get this one flag click block. This will make coding a lot easier. Because that because to run your code, you can just press this flag. And see how the cat is has moved ten steps. Like that. And every time you click on this flag, it will move ten steps. You can also just click on this block, like this. Now, say if you drag out another block, say we want to turn our cat, we can get this block, which will turn our cat 15 degrees, and if we click on the flag, it will do both of these tasks, move forward and turn our cat 15 degrees to the right. You can also customize these blocks by clicking on this bubble 
and we can type in how many steps we want our cat to move. This is 50 million steps. If we want our cat to turn more, we can change it to how many degrees you want. Like that. Say we want our character, our cat, to talk. To do that, we can get the, we can go to the looks uh, tab. So there are a lot of tabs here, and each tab is like a category of looks. Now the first tab is the motion tab, which will, which will, which has all the stuff to like move the cat, turn the cat, and all kind of stuff like that. But if we go into the looks tab, see how when the color changes to purple. These are all the looks blocks which are purple. All the blocks are, are color coded for easier reference. So if you want a cat to talk, talk, you can go to the looks tab. Then we can click on the, we can drag out the say block. And here, we can, we can change what the cat wants to say. Say we want a cat to say, hello world. Then we can change how many seconds we want the cat to talk. I'll just keep it at two seconds. Then, if we press the green flag, it will say, uh, hello world. And as you can see here, it's saying hello world. Now every time you click on the flag, it will say hello world. To stop it, you can just click on the stop button, which is over here. Now that's the end of the first part in this tutorial series. If you want to learn more, comment down below and I'll make the second part to this series. Hope, hope you kids like this video and I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.